What is going on guys? We are back at it with the Volvo. As you know, I broke it. Um, if you don't know, you should go watch the video. It's wicked funny. It's called I Broke It Drifting and the power steering pulley falls out of it. It's just like, damn. But today we're gonna fix it. And we were debating in the last video if the pump was seized or not, because I'm not sure why that pulley would just fly off. So today we're gonna figure that out. Let's do it. I wonder. I don't know. Oh, that would definitely. You think it would move with like? Oh, I don't know. Okay. So what I did was I went down to the parts store and I rented a pulley installer kit, and it's just simply a piece of threaded rod with a bearing. And when you put it, you put it, thread it. It threads into the pump. I'll show you in a second. Then you use this and tighten it. I'm a little bit concerned right now because like. This is, I don't know, this is kind of sketchy. This is really tight. I feel like you'd be able to spin it, but we'll put it on my cracked pulley and see what happens. All right, so you take, you take your pulley, you see, you put it in the area it needs to go. Now this thing, ugh, try to get straight on there as you can. Now this will just thread right into the pump itself because the thread's inside of there. Now, if this isn't seized and I just lost my pulley, I think I'm gonna put a bolt in there and just to hold it in to prevent that from ever happening again. But because I think it's seized, I'm just gonna, obviously gonna have to get a new pump. And I'll show you why. I'll, it's, it destroyed the pump so quick in a minute. Now, all you do is when you, you tighten this nut, and as you can see, it's just pushing the pulley onto the shaft of this pump. Now, we could probably honestly grab it. Put it all the way on. Oh crap, oh look, it's spinning now. Huh, so it's definitely not seized, I wonder. Oh no. <laughs> I wonder if it got hot and like kinda seized, because it's, maybe it's fine. That's weird, uh oh. <laughs> Now because the pump is spinning again, which is good and bad, I'm gonna have to put just a wrench on the end of here, on the end of this nut, to prevent it from turning, so I can push the pulley all the way on. Not a big deal, obviously. Put that on there, let's get it all the way on. Oh, nice catch. Oh no. bottomed out. And then you can just take a tool out and you're good to go. In theory. Oh, I don't want that in my fuse box, that'd be no good. So <sighs> all right. <laughs> Jerk. I gotta release the pressure off this. It's like wedged in there. There we go. Now it should just come out. Yep. So I made it. Doesn't feel right at all though. Like what is that? It's the next day. I thought about it overnight and I really don't like the way that this power steering pump felt. The way it's just really notchy and it's not it's not smooth, it's really hard to turn. So I'm not happy with the way I feel, so I'm just gonna take this off and get a new pump. And also, when I was saying that I think it broke because of the heat, what I was saying is, let me show you. Let me get in here. My hooker exhaust manifolds are very close to my power steering line. So what I'm gonna do is probably, I can push this down and get it away from it. And I'm gonna end up probably making a, a, a heat shield or something to put there. It's really tight, so I'm not sure I'm gonna do yet, but I, just by pushing it down, that brings it away. That brings it away quite a bit. I'll save me 
maybe not melt another pump. I'm gonna put a shield in too, but for now. So for now, I'm gonna take this off and I'll show you how to use that tool and to remove a pulley. So we gotta take that off to get the, to the bolt to take the pump off. Let's do it. This kit that I rented from AutoZone is a, pull, a power steering pulley or any pulley, puller and installer. So in order to, to uh, pull the pulley, it's a, two pieces of metal and it goes, there's a um, knurl there, a knurled edge, like a little a thing for the uh, tool to grab. So you put this over the top of it, then you put the bottom one, you can probably wait for the bottom one. Then you have, where's the big, the big shaft, oh here it is. So what you do is you put this in, then you put the bottom one around it. Well, let me show you this. This is just a, like a washer bolt with a stud and threads. So we're gonna put this in there, and then this, this will go around it. Then we have this sleeve to hold it all together. The sleeve is kind of a pain to get over that. Uh oh. There we go, finally. Ugh, there you go. And now we just tighten this, or other way around, I should say. Tighten this up against the stud of the power steering pump. We'll grab eventually. There you go. Now I'll get a uh, wrench on there, tighten it, and I'll pull this pulley right off. Same dealio. Oh, same dealio. I'm using an adjustable wrench on the end of here just to hold the uh, hold it from moving. Now we'll tighten this, and it's gonna pull this pulley off. You can obviously probably see it coming off. It's not like I feel like that hard considering we just pressed it on yesterday, so it's not like a pulley that's been on there marinating for years. So it's coming off fairly easy. Oh, here it is. Yeah, we got it! This thing is still full of power steering fluid, so I got some basters here, and I'm gonna try to get as much out as I can before I disconnect the power steering lines and make a mess because I don't want to go beneath, underneath this thing and drain all of it. I'm going to baste it. Oh no! Oh! I sucked the old stuff back up. Whoopsies! This is how we're going to do it to reduce the mess. Look at that, yeah. That's the technique, we got it now. I just got done basting all the fluid out. Now I'm gonna disconnect the pressure line right there and the return line right there. Now I'm sure there's still gonna be some fluid, but I'm just gonna put a rag around and wrap it up, so. That's, I'm not too concerned. I basted like I'll, as much as I could out. There's like nothing in there now. That was a little stream, little stream. Not much though. Now the return is just a hose clamp. Oh, oh, <laughs> it didn't go anywhere. So this is easy to take off. Probably gonna leak everywhere too, so let's be prepared for that. Oh, that one's a good stream. Yeah, you look at that. I caught it all though. Ta <laughs> ta! So instead of getting into there and draining it, I mean, you can go for this technique. A little bit more messy, I think, probably, but I mean, it's a little bit easier. You don't even need to hold that if you don't want to. <laughs> Now all I'm going to do is take out these two Allens and this whole pump will come off and we can go get a new one. Very greasy and slippery and hard to hold. <laughs> 
the wiggle effect makes it easy to do, obviously, because it's coming off the threads. Maybe my ungreasy hand will get it. Oh yeah, there it is. Jesus, thunder and lightning out. I just got back from the parts store, I started pouring out. Works out well because they told me that they're not gonna have my new LS power steering pump until tomorrow anyways. So that's it for this video, guys. Next time I see you, we'll be doing the install on the pump and the pulley and come up a couple other things in the LS Volvo. So that being said, I will see you in the next one. Peace. Tell me, tell me, tell me